Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Set back in the video today. And today, the Toronto Raptors are waving Spencer Dinwiddie after acquiring him uh, for Dennis Schroeder and Thaddeus Young. This is great for the Raptors because they are saving a bunch of money by making this roster move. Dinwiddie will now join the buyout market and uh, will be very, very, uh, will be a player that a lot of teams will want to go try to get. Uh, going into the bout market. The 76ers have been linked. The Lakers have been linked. Other teams that are trying to win have been linked. I think um, uh, I think maybe the Celtics have been mentioned, but there have been a bunch of other teams that have been uh, linked to Dinwiddie. The Suns have been mentioned too. Uh, Dinwiddie's played 48 games with 48 starts, uh, averaging 13 points per game this season with six assists per game, 3.3 rebounds per game. His three-point percentage is 32%. His field goal percentage this season is 39.1%, which is actually the lowest in his career since the 2020-21 season, which that season he only played three games, so that's not really a good example. Uh, that's the It's really the lowest since the 2017-18 season, if you're not going to count when he only played three games. So um, I think... The, the number one place I'd love to see Spencer Dinwiddie play is either the Lakers or the or the 76ers. I'd really like to see him on the 76ers, but I think probably the place, the, the team that probably ends up getting Spencer Dinwiddie, or sorry, I think probably the team, probably the point guard that will end up, uh, that will, that will end up going to Philadelphia will probably be Kyle Lowry. So if Kyle Lowry goes to Philadelphia, where does Dinwiddie end up? I think there will be a lot of candidate. There will be a lot of candidates for uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, and I think it's going to be really interesting. Interesting to see who who ends up picking him up. Let me know thoughts on this roster move for the Toronto Raptors in the comment section. Let me know where you think Dinwiddie should end up in the comment section as well. I'm really excited to see you know where he ends up. I'm really excited to see where Kyle Lowry ends up, and I you know as Dinwiddie being a little bit of a surprise. Kyle Lowry is not a surprise. I think there might be a couple other surprise players that get waived or bought out that uh, we see become available to this buyout market, which will be really interesting. I think the buyout market's going to be interesting than it, than it's been than than it's been in a long time. Uh, so I can't wait. Let me know your thoughts um, on the roster move in the comment section and peace out.